Hi, this is Greg, VA7BC. Just going to demonstrate the uh, setup of a uh, Spilsbury SBX11. Uh, Spilsbury and Tyndall radios were made in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, until uh, probably I think the 1970s. And this is uh, one of the uh, famous Arctic or Canadian bush radios. It's, been, it's a commercial radio, but it's been modified for uh, 80 and 40 meter amateur radio. And we're located right now at Raleigh Lake Provincial Park in British Columbia, Canada. We've uh, set up a dipole for 80 meters in the trees. And this is the termination of the dipole here. I'll just show you uh, the setup of uh, this radio. Undo the two snaps. If you don't know how to use it, there's instructions in the bottom. Just orient this. Flip it on. Put the radio down. Take the antenna connector. Only goes in one way. Antenna's on. Put your microphone here with the push to talk. And Turn it on, select your channel. There's four channel positions here. We're going to select uh, 3729, as that's what our dipole is turned tuned to. A uh, clarifier, basically an RIT. And uh, that's it, you're ready to, ready to go. Uh, the radio runs off uh, a series of D cells in the back, or this particular one's been modified to run off a, a gel cell. And that gel cell will it'll run for days on the gel cell. Um, and I've also put some Anderson power pole connectors here at the back. I can actually um, hook up uh, 12 volt DC through any other source, like an extra gel cell, for example. And that's it. That's the operation of the uh, Spilsbury and Tyndall SBX11 on the amateur band. Thanks for watching.